Hey guys, Justin with Ready Business Systems. So I haven't made a video in a while, but I, I was just thinking about something that I wanted to share. The idea of uh, how easy it is to waste time. So a couple ideas kind of came together. The first one is that I went to the shop the other day and I was there in the morning when the guys were getting out and I saw a trailer pull up in front of the garage and the mechanic came out and he inflated the tire. Uh, I then went back into the pit and I saw that one of the trailers had a broken jack like it just didn't have a jack on it on the trailer so you know how do you lift how do you lift that trailer up you have to you have to bring in like an outside jack or put it up on blocks or get a couple people to lift it but obviously there's some wasted time there uh, lastly I saw one of the dump trucks had a broken dump body like it was full of debris in the back and the dump handle didn't work to open the dump truck, so you can't dump it out. You'd have to like shovel it out. So I went and spoke to the mechanic and I asked him, you know, how long has this stuff been like this? And he said, oh, I just haven't, I have, we don't have any spare tires. I haven't had time to get spare tires. And <clears throat> you know, the, the jack, oh, I haven't gotten a chance to get to it. The dump body, oh yeah, yeah, we're waiting on parts. So in the meantime, essentially all he's doing is putting band-aids on and you're gonna keep, you're gonna keep, you know, trying to, clog the leaky holes is just going to leak again until you fix it. So I said to him, you know, you need to get on top of things because it's just repetitive waste. So if you add up all the time every day, they're, they're lifting up the trailer, jacking it, whatever, all this waste of time, you're never actually getting anywhere is my point. So you're just constantly trying to fix, put a bandaid on the same problem, just keeps coming off, bandaid, comes off, bandaid, comes off, and you're chronically, habitually just wasting time, energy, and money. So that's one thing to keep in mind, like how much of this is going on in your business? How much, uh, how much, how many band-aids are you putting on versus fixing problems? So on the same note, uh, I was at, I just recently moved and, uh, I got a dehumidifier for my basement and I was busy and get, you know, getting situated with, with everything else that, that life has. And every day I was going down to the basement and I'd, I'd empty the dehumidifier. <clears throat> I go down the next day, dehumidifier be full, I would empty the dehumidifier. And you know, it wasn't a big deal, it was, you know, two, three minutes a day. But every day I was doing that for a couple of weeks and every time I did it, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta hook this up to the drain, I gotta automate this. So if you, if you cross that to your, your business, you know, if you're manually doing anything that can be automated, for example, in this situation, you put a little pump on the, on the dehumidifier, it pumps it into the into the drain, and you never have to touch it. I mean, the pump will last 15 years. You never have to do anything, and now you have an extra three minutes every single day. So, automating automating your business and automations is the exact same thing. Uh, you can manually send an email, and it's going to save you time in the short run because you know buying that pump, installing that pump, maybe it'll take you an hour. So, you know, it's an investment of your time because then you put in one hour, now you save three minutes indefinitely and maybe you break even after a year I, I didn't do the math out but it's the same thing you know you got to put in the time it's just like hiring a new employee you're you're overwhelmed you're doing all this work you don't have time to hire another employee because it's actually gonna take more time when you first get started so that's the same thing with automations you're gonna have to invest some time get started uh, it's gonna take more of your energy but then it's gonna be an investment that's then gonna start paying off and the same goes the more that you do Eventually, you're saving three minutes here, five minutes there, ten minutes there, an hour here, and all of a sudden, you know, your business, you have all this free time, and you're like, where'd all my time go? And, you know, that, that applies to all aspects of life, but I just kind of wanted to stretch that across to the business. So, uh, you know, keep an eye out for, for, for leaks in your business, any, any uh, bad processes, any band-aids that are being put on, and think about automate what you can automate anything that you're doing repetitively that there is an alternative solution that you can have it done so I always say the first thing to do if you're doing something over and over if you do it for more than the second or third time you should be thinking how can I not do this anymore so the first approach is would be is there is there in, in the case of the dehumidifier is there a, a mechanical uh, robotic solution that can solve this for me uh, or is there a software solution that can solve this for me? If there's not, then it's something you should outsource to, to low-cost labor rather than yourself who provides high value to the business capable of producing a very high charge rate. So 
you know, in, in the case of dehumidifier, you can you can buy something to do it. In case of sending an email, maybe you can automate that with software. Uh, in terms of anything else, maybe you know the process of getting the guys out in the morning, uh, dispatching the crews. Maybe that's something that you can you can train some uh, you know a human to do for, at a lower cost than it costs you to do that to your business. So, anyway, just wanted to share those few thoughts. Uh, subscribe or check out the business at excuse me check out the website readybusinesssystems.com and I'll catch you guys next time